So um, we were asked to talk about one uh, game design decision. And um, I thought, I'm not sure if you took a look into my presentation, but I thought I will just flip it around and I'll tell you about uh, a non-decision. You'll see what I mean by that. But let me start. Boat for two. We're floating together through the night, born to us on an oak spring. No star peers down from the sky as a gust of wind carries us down from to the lake, on which you launch your ship with its birch wood mast, hull of bark and sails woven from oak leaves. Um, I just read to you the first stanza of a poem that is, um, or that became the basis for the game. And I have started this presentation with a lyrical leap into a particular moment in time and space which bore witness to the development of a poetic game inspired by leaves, bark, water, and above all, stones. And in my digital musings, I will refer to Kaiwa's The Writing of Stones, written in 1970 and then translated to English in 85. However, instead of analyzing the intricacies of nature's inscriptions and landscapes on jaspers and agates, um, limestone and marbles, I will take a broader concept of nature's playfulness, lusus naturae, sports of nature, as a point of departure in revealing the initial stages of designing a game, a game that later on became a digital game. The game um, whose making was influenced by the playfulness triggered by nature's fossils and play encapsulated in a spoken and written word as you heard and saw. And stones and poetry became the sedimentary rock for an interactive digital world of the boat for two game. And one aspect is of particular importance in the early conceptual phase a moment of epiphany, a creative impulse, an inspiration, or, to put it in other words, a mysterious allure of serendipity, which in the case for, of Boat for Two was born amidst the deep forests of Burgundy, the greenery of Burgundy forests in France. And um, to theorize a bit, um, Mervyn Horgan, theorizes uh, the, the serendipitous moment of the as the methodological principle for social sciences and emphasizes the importance of chance in the establishment of new research projects. He discusses the so-called aleatory urbanism and um, that may, I quote, um, harness the serendipitous to produce novel insights on cities. And my intention, on the other hand, is to endow the serendipitous um, with the aleatory and inspiratory aspect of nature portrayed by Kaiwa in the writing of stones. And um, if you're not familiar uh, with Kaiwa and the writing of stones, I can tell you that in his observations, he focuses on rare stones with, um, in which a predisposed and that's a really key word, predisposed human eye sees monsters, cities, dragons, crucifixes, or ancient hieroglyphs. And such stones were considered wonders and miracles that should not exist. And yet they do. Um, and as Kaiwa says, being the result of thousands upon thousands of chances, the winning number in an infinite lottery. And this haphazard playfulness of nature itself just as an aleatory urban event may be the starting point for a serendipitous moment. As Kaiwa further emphasizes, in some Eastern cultures, insight may be obtained from the strange shape of pattern in gnarled root, a rock, a veined or perforated stone. I'll tell you about the stones in a second. But now, if you take a look at this picture, which is also taking us back to this inspiratory moment, it's trees, right? And then think about the word inspiration. The lungs of planet Earth, so together we breathe. And in this literal, in a literal sense, inspiration is nothing more but an act of breathing, inhaling, from Latin inspirare. And um, let me take you into this inspiratory moment of um, 
and aleatory and serendipitous moment of time. So it is a warm July evening. I am surrounded, as you see, by a metallic luster of the lake and tasseled crowns of trees of burgundy. I'm building a boat. In no time, a fragile stick mast with an oak leaf stands stiff on a piece of bark. I'm pushing the boat onto the still waters. It floats too gently. So I start throwing stones at it. A friendly, help, a friendly hand helped me in, in my endeavors. The water surface furl, folds itself in waves, pushing my barge away from the shore. It embarks upon a journey. And this very act of throwing stones and um, the serendipitous moment, the chance and the playfulness of nature um, put me on, um, on the road uh, for game design. But in the case of the discussed game, it was the stone's physical properties not their visual beauty or aesthetics that triggered the early design process. So unlike uh, in Kaiwa's The Writing of Stones, I was prompted by the materiality of nature to interact with its components, the water, the bark, leaf and stones, and give them a new meaning and context in the human nature constellation. The bark and leaf became a boat, the lake its environment, and the stones thrown into water its acceleration mechanism. Nature left its playful footprint in what was about to become a digital mobile game. A human designer left her footprint in the wilderness of a national park, reconfiguring its natural arrangement. Similarly to the 17th century artists who could not resist turning the sports of nature, those stones of which Kaiwa is talking about, into works of art, supplementing them with human figures animals, trees, and by doing so, establishing, and I quote from Kaiwa, a closer alliance between the skill of the painter and the fantasies of geology. And now, um, so that you know what I'm actually talking about, um, I would like to play um, the trailer of the game. So you will see what became out of this serendipitous moment, playing with nature, what came out of it a year later, out of the non-decision. just to tell you is based on creating waves by tapping your finger and that's how you move the barge that's where the connection is <laughs> Poetry. It's a poetic game. There are no points. Um, but if you like reading and uh, getting yourself lost in the magic of the written um, word, um, it will come out soon. It's for now. You can just watch the trailer and the gameplay video online. So, thanks a lot. <laughs> 